Hey everybody, Rob and Brett here from moreguitars.com and more music in Evansville, Indiana. And today it's all about Fender and the American Ultra Series. Ultra. These are these are like this is the best of the best. This is the latest and greatest from Fender's technology. It's the it's the latest in design and colors and electronics and playability. It's not all it's that. not your grandpa's Stratocaster. This is could got, be well, it could be, <laughs> but it's not. But it's not right yeah. now. It's got uh, a lot of things going on for it that uh, we should we should spell out. We should spell them out. But the cool thing is, is that we've got them in stock. We do, and they're sitting here ready for you to enjoy. Yes. So let's go through it. Well, I have. What's the big key to the Ultra series? Well, I don't think there's. I don't think you could just say there's one. Well, the idea though is that it's kind of the premium. Well, listen. Before Fender, you get the cu custom shop, yeah, Fender it's like does the a premium. lot of like reissue stuff. You want a, a '50s style guitar, you can get that. You want a '60s, you want a '70s, blah 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 blah. The this the Ultra series, and then previously before this, the Elite series was really the. Okay, if you want a modern, if you want a modern Stratocaster, you want a modern Tele, you want a modern Jazzmaster with modern features and, and specs, this is the series you go after. And like I said previously, this is just this is the latest and greatest in technology. The latest series of noiseless pickups. Um, S1 switching, which is different on different models, and we can get into that a little bit. Yeah, we'll do that when we do Locking each model. <clears throat> Frog in your throat. I get a little, I get a little uh, emotional <laughs> on, on new guitar release day. Sorry. <laughs> Locking tuners. I, I mean, there's all... Let's just let's just start calling some rock of this and stuff roll, out. man. So you already have. I think you've already. One of the cool about things too is this heel carve here. Major access now into this region of the guitar that you didn't have. It was just a, it was just squared off before, made it really inaccessible. I also get really, up there. I dig the compound radius. This isn't just one radius yeah. all the way up and down. So this 10 is to 14. rounder down here where you need it, but flattens out as you go up for your lead enjoyment. It says you travel up the mountain. Seriously, <laughs> so like I grabbed this and I felt like it was too wide. Yeah. After about five or six minutes of playing, it feels good. Yeah. I like that compound radius. I like the the access. And I guess the thing that I like the most is that it does feel, it doesn't feel like a new neck that is like out there that you gotta, you gotta struggle to get a hold of. So the of one thing I'm get, noticing, get so they call this a modern to. D shape. Yeah. So it's not a C, it's more of a D. So maybe that's where the wider feel comes from. But they've rolled all these edges yeah. to the point to where it's just so smooth. It doesn't, it might be, I don't know. It doesn't feel wide to me. Yeah. It feels very, very comfortable. Yeah. And slim in the back. It's a very slender, fast neck yeah. for a Stratocaster. And the idea was they wanted, so this is kind of like the culmination of everything that they can do. All the bells and whistles, all the things, I like it. All the bells and whistles, the things that have supposedly come from years and years and years of building guitars. Then it sounds like this. I was just gonna like act, accentuate it. your uh, okay. I'll keep your, going. Your thing. But the beauty of, of the neck is that it is on the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and so is the bridge. It's really hard to concentrate with me doing that. Isn't yeah, it? but it's fun. <laughs> But the bridge has, the, you know, these these have been coming on, these type of saddles have been coming on the, the, Very the smooth. Elite and the yeah. higher end yeah. and like the pluses and stuff like that. You don't feel all the screws and bumps. And yeah, the, and it's it's just, there's more mass there. Yeah. It's going to create a little more sustain, supposedly, hopefully, most likely it yeah. will. Yeah. Um, and, you know, without you doing your little embellishments, I don't know if I can get through this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Technical <laughs> wardrobe malfunction. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> I bet it was. Bet I couldn't do that again. No. You're 
sounds good. So the S1 switch, play it with and without it. Okay. So this is and it's gonna it, and it's gonna be different on each like on strats versus tellies versus sure, jazz sure, matches. Yeah, what absolutely. It does. Yeah. But so on the strat, what it does is it it adds the neck pickup into any scenario in series. Oh, the dog. So if I'm on if I'm back here in position one, just using the bridge pickup. That's what now here. That's not So it still has the same like characteristics of that pickup, but it adds this other one mm -hmm. to give it that little more rounded bluesy so mellow that position tone. I'm actually using these two pickups. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This one and that. And the, adding that kind of takes off that <clears throat> shrillness that a lot Take, of people yeah. like can't use the bridge pickup. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't like to use it. That kind of helps. That's with it, right? No, without. Okay. That round yeah. tone. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, I like it. It's very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Locking tuners. Yeah. Just all the bells and whistles. Really cool colors. They've, there's going to be some colors you haven't seen previously uh, in this new mix of American Ultra guitars. We're excited to have them. Well, um, the, the in previous years, there's always been like, and it feels like this with Fender all around. Previous to a year or two ago, two, three years ago maybe at the most, it felt like they were making changes almost to just make changes. To like say we did something new mm -hmm. so people would get fired up about it. Yeah. Well, with the player series, the performer series, the professional, and now the, the uh, ultra, it feels like everything, it's almost like they put 20 really good guitarists together and said, what's wrong with the Stratocaster? And they said, what, how can, can we make it yeah, better? Yeah, if you can improve upon it, what would you do? Yeah. What would you do? And then they did it. Yeah. You know, they took the best things and they did it. And there's really, I mean, with that switching, it really adds that last little thing that almost says you can't get anything else on a guitar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like right. everything just feels pretty good about it and right. Yeah. You know, I mean, everybody's going to have their preferences, but the idea behind the guitars is that it has everything. Pretty much has everything. Like I said, it's it's not your grandpa's strat. This is a modern strat with modern bells and whistles and modern conveniences. Yeah, I mean, and, and like there's a, a whole uh, what what you can call like a global change, which is global changes, which is the neck, mm -hmm. the the locking tuners, the different bridges on the strats, the heel carve, heel carve, the you know neck shape, the S1 switch is on. All the six strings, I think. I believe so, yeah. Tellies, strats, and yeah. jazz masters, yeah. So it's I mean it's just a it's just a it's just a badass guitar all the way we around. Got them. And that, like I said, the global changes, but then you got little things that they've changed on this one where like this is a you know, this is a phase switch. So if I go here <laughs> Makes you want to get the chicken neck going. <laughs> See it. Chicken neck. Chicken neck. Can't do it. I got more chins. I said it makes you want to get the chicken neck. Yeah. So that's a cool thing. And now these are simplified to what they used to be years and years ago. And these are just volume knobs for each pickup. So if you, you know, if you're, if you. want a little bit of this one you can bring it back in I'm playing a kind of a bogus lick but it's like I just want you to hear I love it man 
Yeah. Do you? Too much do you love damn it? fun. Ah. This is a great age of guitar building, man. Yeah, There's so many of... cool things coming out. And Fender's, I mean, just, they've really had their stuff together the last few years. Their, their new product launches are spot on. The products make sense. Yep. They have a place in the market. There's a need for it. Yeah. Um, and the fact that we today is launch day, yes. and we have the guitars in stock already. Pretty it's amazing. It's pretty amazing. You'd be surprised how many yeah. suppliers don't have that together. <laughs> <laughs> Very few, I yeah. should say. So anyway, let's close this thing out. You want to play a little bit over the top of yeah, me? Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. What key are we in there, Bresky? What do you want to do? I don't care. Give me something. Give me, give me something to go on. Let's go in. Uh, you were doing C a while ago. Right? 